Good morning. So back to uh, Snippet Pixie next development. Let's see where we were. Right, we're working on the uh, GUI and we were trying to get the snippets list up and running. Let's see what it looks like. So we've got to the point where we've got a list we scrolled um, and we can we can reduce it down like that stuff like that but when we tab it's not taking any focus yet um, we can click in but we need to have it sort of keyboard driven I've got that working yet. So that's what's next. So let's stick that on the ID and start mucking about with it. Okay. So in the list item at the moment, we are setting the tab index to minus one just purely so that we can actually have some sort of focus on it. Um, without that, we don't get any um, clickability as such, because it's list items. But I don't think that's where we want to control um, the keyboard and stuff. I think that needs to happen on the snippets list. Um, so here we have, again, we have the tab index. Um, and by default, it's zero which I don't think we change. Oh, we did two, two. Interesting, why did I do that? I can't remember now. I'll go have a look at the, uh, let's have a quick check of what that means. I'll do the same thing there. Let's look at accessibility. And we'll stick on the tab in order. Okay. Hmm. We don't need it to be two. So we've taken the tabbing order out of everything else. So let me just double check on the screen. That's not making a lot of sense. Oh no, it's fine. Okay, so yeah, input is one, and this is two, and in the input, yeah, we're taking the button at the beginning and the potential clear button, we've taken them out of the index. That's fine. Okay. A bit confused there. I forgot I'd done that. That's good. Okay. Um, so that's okay. What we just need now is a way of controlling and auto focusing the first item when we tab in. So we can tab. We're just not getting any kind of focus on the item as such.
will be interesting. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Uh, so, snippets list. Oh, so we've got a little bit of console happening. Let's see that. I've forgotten all these things I did. Yeah, okay. So when we focus, so let me clear the console log. When we focus on the list by tabbing in, we get we are actually grabbing that focus. So that's what I want to do now. I want to take that function and make it so that um, we are instead highlighting the first item in the list. Or rather, the first item, unless we have previously focused an item. So for example, if they'd clicked on this, hmm, if they click on it, it's actually going to do the thing. Yeah. So if they'd previously focused on it, um, but then change the mind before hitting enter and tap back out. Huh. We have to be careful about that. Tap back out. Um, I wanted to come back to the same item. Unless the list has changed, I think. And then we'll reset it back to um, the first item. Yeah, okay. Right then, so... How are we going to do this? I think let's keep track of the focused item. And then in that each we can set we can set the item to focused because when when the component comes into view Yeah, it'll be set in the first one. Hmm, okay. But how do we do that? So... I think we just have to do a
kind of need to control it outside of this, actually. We do need to do it in the snippets list. But it's a component, so it's a bit of a pain there. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's just start and then we'll see how we go. Um, so we'll have let focused item. It's going to be, well, let's say index zero. We're going to do it numerically and then Kinda want to, so if they click on this, I need to change the focus again as well. So I do need to do something there. Okay, let's um, dispatch some events. Uh, so, I was going to just grab some. Am I doing any dispatching? Huh. Oh, I'm doing it in the input. I'll do it from there. I'm just going to copy some code. Uh, so we want this, or we want that, and we want that, um, and that's easy enough. I can well just do that as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is in a list item. I'm going to do similar in that I'm going to make sure that if I get a focus, I'm going to deal with it. Uh, do I need the event? No. I think so. Um, so I want that and I want that. And then in here, we're going to dispatch an event. And we'll dispatch the current index. Yes. And then I've got to remember how we combined it. That's a lot. 
How do we bind them? I can't remember. Um, Why I've got input coming in there? Okay. So we've got snippets. The list is going to have to somehow bind to the focus event. Does a real focus fire? I wonder if I can catch that instead. Hold on a second. Um, so we're going to have a item focus. Let's do, let's try that. I'm just going to quickly see if I can do that. So yeah, I'll take all that out. Right. So back to the item, not doing anything with focus. Um, I'm going to not make a change just now that I think I need to make in here. What I think I need to do is um, re send, uh, rebubble the uh, the on focus there. I'm just going to do a little test without that first. So, actually, I'm going to rename that in a second. Function on focus I think would do definitely want the event And I think I'll be doing some stuff here, but I'm just going to do uh, at the moment. Okay. So when we get a focus on the snippets list item. It's just going to log the event there. Now, I don't think this is going to work right now. No. OK. And then in the item instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bubble up. Let's see what happens. On focus, basically. So we're basically saying we're not handling this here. Try up. So we do that. Yeah, there we go. So now we're getting our console log. So what we'll probably do then so the idea is that it won't be clicking so it'd be like if I use key like down arrows and stuff which isn't happening at the moment I need to deal with that um, I 
Actually, that'd be the other way around, I think. Mm, we'll see. Um, okay. That is accessible. Just take that off. Yeah, because normally these events don't bubble in uh, in Svelte land anyway. You have to say, hey, I want this to go up to the next one. Okay. How much info have we got in target? Hmm. Right, let's decide how we're going to do this then. So that's if you basically that's for if I get a click. That's going to set focus, which needs to tell See, that's the thing. If you click on it, you are in the way I want it to work. You are using that item. You are going to basically use that snippet. And it's going to do a paste, copy, paste. So I um, may not even need that. Because another event will do the do. Hmm. Okay, let's deal with the uh, keyboard stuff first. That's what I'm really interested in. So. When we come in, Yeah, so there's a little bit of... No, no, we're good. We're good, good. Okay, I was just thinking, if the snippets change, we also need to refocus. But for the snippets to change, because we're not doing dynamic updates, you have to leave, you have to remove your 
focus and go back to the search or the button that does a research or the clear button. So focus will be lost. And then you have to refocus onto the, onto the list. So that means we can probably do something here. But I'm not sure how. Because normally You do it here. Mm. That could be just where we basically reset the focused item and then we may need to have a different set here which is dynamically repopulated and uses focused item as one of its keys for regeneration Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm probably not explaining that very well, but um, bear with me. Uh, what we need to do here is so we've got snippet coming in from there and the index. Um, catching that. I'm not sure whether we're going to do this anymore. We'll see. But um, what we do need to do is. Yeah, I'm going to take that out. And I'm going to have... Yeah, okay, I got it. I think I know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to have two versions of this. And one of them doesn't have any focus stuff. And one is going to say it's focused. Um, I'll just do that for the moment. And they will have just an if. Oops. Uh, if I don't even need that. Let's do this. Focused equals index equals focused. That I will I will re rename that item just in case I don't want any clashes there and it's kind of 
focus is more applicable to the list rather than items. All right. So I'm going to have focused equals index. So that's going to switch it in. And then in the item, I'm not going to bubble that anymore. We're going to have export let focused equals false by default. And then what we're going to do here, how are we going to actually set the focus? Is there a way to do that here? I probably. Just need a class, I think. Take out that um, alternate coloring because that wasn't good. Okay, so in theory, when the item is focused, we're going to get the same styling as if it was actually focused. Actually, had a focus. And then in the snippets list, we are setting the first item. With that class mm. yeah okay so that works so the first item let's focus there I'll probably need to have a, a second state there, though. Where it's kind of... Uh, yeah. Let's do this. We'll do um, active as well. So when we get focus, we are active. And then...
guess we need to do a blur as well. Because there's no lost focus, is there? One blur. false again and then in the snippets list item active it's false And that'll get rechanged. So this is actually going to be I active focus, focused active. Why is that complaining? Okay, and then oh yeah, we need a variation earlier, which you know, back again to not being active. Secondary look like. You see that? Might need to switch up the color, so I'll leave that in for the moment. So we're getting focused and active on it. We are setting active on focus and then taking it away on blur. If an item is focused, we're setting that based on its index at the moment. Um, yeah, and then focused item. So that should work. There we go. So here, you want to come in, it goes active, take it away. There we go. Cool. Uh, what's next? Um, well, we need to be able to move up and down the list. So, you have to do like key stuff. Um, again, on here, really, we're not actually doing any work on the items. So, on, we've got key down or key press or key up. Oh. What's the difference between key press and catching a key up? Although key down would be immediate. So we we'll look at the uh, the docs for key press. Don't use key press. 
Okay. Yeah, so I think we're going to be using key down then. Key down event is fired when a key is pressed. Unlike the key press event, key down event is fired for all keys, regardless of whether they produce a character value. Okay, that's kind of what we want, um, because I want to be able to do shift, enter, to do a different type of paste. So for like, if you've, if you were in a terminal, and you do the hotkey to get up snippet pixie um, to get the list of snippets. You find one and then you hit like shift enter. I want to know that you've had shift and enter so that it does a shift control V into your terminal rather than a control V because control V doesn't work in most terminals. You need to do a shift to say, hey, I want to paste. So. Um, I do need to be able to catch more than one key combination. So that's fine. And then it'll be code stuff. Keyboard event code. Okay, I don't think we need to worry about that at the moment. Okay. Let's look at um, the codes. So, huh. Right, I don't want that. I want the char code, I think. Oh, non-standard. Great. Key. Okay. Key, blah, blah, blah. Let press by the there. Taking into consideration the state of modifier keys such as shift as well as the keyboard logo. All right. Okay. Okay.
Uh, I need enter. And then I need arrow down, arrow left, well, arrow down and arrow up. Home and end would be good, and maybe page up, page down as well, at some point. Okay. Right, well, let's concentrate on the arrow keys for the moment. So we're just going to do key down, I think. Yeah. So on key down. We're going to have key. Should we do one word? Yeah. That. Try that. Uh, so, if focused item is less than Oh, yeah, let's try this. Snippets. Door length, I think. Be careful here. I think minus one. Because it's a zero based index. Do that. Um, and event dot key equals arrow down and hold on we need <laughs> uh, I can tell I've been using Go too much here um, and why is that complaining oh Uh, good old JavaScript, right? Um, then let's just do. Oops, focused item. Can I do that in JavaScript? <laughs> right now, this might not work because it's not dynamic. On uh, this little, hold on, that's a mess. Clean this up. Oh, 
Right, I might have to make this a little bit more dynamic. Um, <clears throat> well, as I said, I need to make this more dynamic, I think. But we'll get to that in a sec. So if I save that, and then I come into the list, and then I go down. Oh, it does work. Interesting. Oh, of course, I'm changing the value. That's fine. Great. Okay. Let's continue this then. Um, right, in that case, we can bail out there. If focused item. Uh, is greater than zero. And the key up has been done. Focused item minus minus. So I'm not focused on that at the moment, so I can't do anything. I am now. I can go up and down. Uh, right. What's next? Well, enter key. Uh, let's catch that too. Um, Do I be super safe and make sure that we Yeah. If focused item is greater than or equal to zero and focused item is Less than snippets dot length and event key is equal to enter. I need to do three then uh well, well this is when we actually start to do functionality so we need to basically dispatch something to the rest of the app to say do something Um, so I will do a couple of things here. Do I still have things in my buffer? No. Nope. Uh, probably got this one. I do. So that's cool. I sort that one out. And then in here. We will dispatch Um, 
what should we call this event? activated something like that and then we want the current snippet so Or just to redo the index. Yeah, if we just do if we do the index, which is the focused item. Just do the whole thing. Yeah. I think we need a little catch here actually, right at the top. Um, if not snippets or Snippets dot length equals zero just in case. Just return. So that means we don't do anything unless there are snippets. It just a little bit of a catch or just to do that. Alright, let's go to that function. I'm not using it anymore. So we're dispatching that. What's that about? And then on here, We're going to do on what did I call it? I did call it item, didn't I? Item activated. We'll have handle uh, Hmm. 
yeah, we're going to have to say whether the key, what keys are the info yeah, have been used, because we might want to shift and enter. So we'll have to do that. I wonder how that works with shift. Hmm. Okay, handle. Uh, what we're we going to call this? I'm just call it item activated, I suppose. Let's see what we've got at the moment. Function and or item activated. Um, What's it called? Details, isn't it? And we'll just lock that for a moment. We'll see what we got. This has got too long. Anything else got messy? No. Okay. All right, let's see what we've got. We'll do this in the con uh, browser. Let's clear the little console. So I'll tab in. All right, nothing for the moment. And if I hit this, if I hit enter on here, we got an item. Ah, uh, right, yeah. I want event detail, not detail, as the event, yeah, it's okay. So then we've got the object, which is in the, which is a snippet. So that's not great. Let's do something slightly different there. So what we'll do, right, hold on, that should be event. And we want event detail. And then in the list, we will dispatch an object. So let's clean this up a little bit. have a snippet don't want that and Hmm. Yeah, okay. Let's do this. I 
Actually, I don't know if we need that. I was just going to say, at the time that the event bubbles, so it's dispatched, the list snippet screen will know whether the shift is still being held down, whether it's an enter or a click, which I haven't dealt with yet. So we don't need any more there. I think. If I can query for any keys currently held. Hmm. Don't know whether we can do that. We'll deal with that later. We can always add extra here. Um, so that reminds me. I'll do a click later because I'm kind of out of time now. Right, so let's clear this. We're in here, we come up here, come down, and we go. Let's do date, and I hit enter, and we get an object. We say we've got a snippet with these details. And then if I do shift enter on here, does it still populate? It does. Let's do a quick test there. How Hmm. I need to know if there's two keys. Shift key. I didn't see that before. Perfect. Okay. Event dot shift k
Let's try that then. Oh, yeah, we need to sort that out at some point. Definitely need to do the click handling. We haven't done that yet. Uh, so <laughs> let's go. Now I'm going to do, oh, let's clear this out. Well, that's interesting. That kept. Of course, it's not resetting. That's great. Okay, that's good. Um, I'll see what happens in a minute when I do a change. I haven't really got time. So if I hit Shift Enter, Shift is true. If I hit Enter, Shift is false. Perfect. Okay. Um, and now what happens if I tab out and change the query? Yeah, it's kept um, the third item selected, which is not what we want. We want it to reset, so um, I'm just trying to think of a quick way of doing this. I think. Yeah, I think maybe you need to do dynamic set. So what we'll do is um, oops, we'll have items um, and it's equal to function called um, square process items. And it's going to take in snippets. And we might as well chuck in no. No, we'll just do that. And then in the function, what we'll do do Book 
next item equals zero. It's just reset and any time the snippets change it's going to reset the focused item to zero And then, yeah, no, just redoing the same thing. Items. So if it comes in as null. We should be okay. We'll see. So we'll go down here. Oh, interesting. Did not expect that. That's not great. Okay, I'll have to look at that. Change it to DT. Takes first one. And then I come back out. And then I come back in. Doesn't change. Oh, I've been going the wrong way. That's fine. Back into search. Uh, change it to date we're good <laughs> that's terrible why is it doing that I have to be careful about that it only needs to go down once you get close to the end I'll have to sort that out but that's okay and if I clear it that's fine if I put in something that doesn't exist, uh, there we go, no errors, if I clear that, we're good again, and we've got that one. That's great. Okay. Sorted. I think we're at a point where I can save that off. And then I can work on fixing things up. Um, and actually implementing stuff. Uh, we need to do the click handling though as well. But I want to save that off because it's been a while. Um, and I presume this is okay as well. So this is all right. Happens if I have, uh, yeah, same issue. Okay, it's not just a Firefox thing. Although it's not so bad here. Although it's, it's weird. You don't want that kind of interaction. You want it to come down to like here, I guess, and then bump. Oh, we haven't done page up, page down yet either. So I'll do that as well. It's not showing the cursor there. Right. Anyway, 
let's save that off before we get too distracted. Um, snippets list. Let's have a list to have focus. and the list scrolls sharing okay Okay, that's enough for today. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, until next time, take care.